Rob, Tesla USB is now connected, so set back and relax while we charge your Tesla phone. Hello guys and welcome to the Atom Tour Vlogs BHL. My name is Rob and welcome to my YouTube channel. Guys, my juggernaut covers put up a brand new video. It's called Why is Big Buddha No Longer Working For Me? Yep, so here we go guys. Enjoy the video. Jesse, where's the videos at? Well, it's a tale as old as time. If the Majora's channel does not have a reliable, talented camera person to capture the drama, then things kind of get a little stale. We end up hitting these hiatuses with people coming in and out, and it is quite hard to find somebody consistent, trustworthy, that can actually deliver a good quality shot and capture the craziness. And we've been through our fair share of camera people, and uh, we kind of played into that when we made a big announcement just a couple months ago with my brother Jeffrey, becoming the new Majorian's cameraman. Well, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. Yes, that's right. We're coming clean. It just got to the point where it's just not a sustainable system having my brother pretend to be the cameraman. I know, guys, I was pissed. I was disappointed, betrayed. That's right. But it is what it is. A quick recap, guys. We uh, we witnessed the 18th departure of Swift uh, from the channel. We announced this at this very spot four months ago. And uh, then two months after that, Big Brother Jeffrey signed on to be the new MJ and cameraman. A lot of you guys were pumped. I was excited as well, but there is a video in which I offered Jeffrey a $100,000 salary with a monster sign-on bonus, and that salary was mainly just to compete with the job that he currently has. That's right, I'm saying has, because he still has it. <laughs> in this video, it's a very real conversation. Uh, I try to talk my brother into joining Rigid Studios full-time. As you know, Jeffrey has done YouTube uh, a few times, quit his job, tried to do YouTube again, and it just wasn't working out. And I think we can all say we miss Jeffrey. Now, not only do we miss him on the McJourney's channel, but we miss him producing videos. So I was like, this is it. This is the penultimate Jeffrey cycle. Let's bring him in. And we kind of bum rushed him, Ashley and I, to try to get him to sign on. And he hard passed. That's the part you guys didn't get to see. So I'm about to show you what really happened that day and the alternate ending, the real ending to the job off. And for those of you that don't want to watch the long-winded reasons why Jeffrey didn't want to partake, I'll give you the TLDW version. He said no. He wanted to keep his main job. So I decided, hey, well, you know what? I already planned out this whole arc. And this is just weird that I'm, like, letting you guys in on this. But I, I hope you see that, like, we're entering a new phase of the Majorian's channel. Uh, I was shocked he said no. And so with the plans that I already had in my mind, I'm like, well, you know what? Whatever. We can go into kind of scripted mode. And we can still have you become the cameraman. And then we still play out the series as it was supposed to go. It's just... You're not getting paid for it, and you're not actually my cameraman. You'll be filming all the videos, but you're just not employed, which it just became weird at that point. Uh, Jeffrey's kind of working for free. I think he was down for it, but it ended up being an issue because Jeffrey would get home from his job at like 5, 6 p.m., and then we live 30 minutes apart now, so by the time we'd be, it'd be ready to film, we're rushed, and we ain't got time, and then he's got to get up at the butt crack of dawn for work the next day. <laughs> he's trying to like live a double life. And then also, it's one of those things, it's hard to get really balls deep in a story or, story or consistency when he's not actually the camera person. Because I like to build that relationship with my number two, and we get better together, we evolve. And then we can start taking the story all kinds of different places. We actually have a solid team. But this was like, we had a pretend team <laughs> with the pretend story. And I, I kind of lost interest at that point. And it also just became too difficult for Jeffrey to balance a job and pretend work for me. And I'm like, what are we doing here? We're, we're, we're bull each other. And so that's why when you saw the last video really was, uh, you know, Ashley and I in Florida and we were in North Carolina. And I know some of you guys were expecting content. It was one of those things, Jeffrey hadn't quit his job. And like I said, I was pissed. So what does that mean going forward? It means we're gonna need a new McJarian's camera, man. The search is on. If that's you, let me know, dead ass. Like, this is no no storyline. Like, we, I need a cameraman badly. Because I would like to make videos. I'm feeling pretty good, and I want to build a new relationship with somebody. I want somebody new. So if you've been a long-time fan, if you just know the channel really well, you're professional, you know, you're, you're eager to learn, and you're ready to work hard, let me know. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna roll the footage from that fateful day of where Jeffrey said no, because I'm sure you guys are curious to hear, like, his actual thoughts but stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to skip through it by all means just skip to the end because i have an important message so here we are this is the uh regis philbin final answer moment drum roll here we go i must decline i'm sorry 
I'm sorry. All right, speak your piece. So, no secret, we and I getting married next year. I don't know if we've ever privately said this, but we're probably gonna start trying mm -hmm. for the little Jeffries. That makes sense. A couple months after, mm -hmm. and I just can't commit to not having a set schedule. That's the that's the big one. That's one of the big ones. Yeah, it's like I can't just up and leave Kate and with Miranda for like two weeks. Like that wouldn't be fair to her. We, the kids are <sighs> there, like I need the health insurance that I currently have, the dental, the vision, everything. Is there also there. a factor that you could get laid off at your current job at any point? I'm not worried about that. So you think you're safe at this job? Yes. Do you think you'd be safe with me? Uh, I think so. However, I and mean, this is this is a good, big one too. I know it's been contentious between us at times, and I feel like recently it's been getting better, like our relationship. And I don't think us working, like me working for you, would improve that. Honestly, I think it would be a detriment to it. That's sad. That's sad you think like that. That's very cynical. Well, You've been, if anything, as soon as you moved out and then have gotten this job, you know, we hardly see you and it's been- I don't been... live there anymore. Right, but also then there's less things that bring us back together. Well, if like you said, like, I'm not saying I won't be in videos. Like, obviously I would still mm -hmm. like volunteer my time to, to assist you when I can. Like, that's still the same. So like, we haven't really been making any in the last year. Mm -hmm. But year. that's why we picked up, you know, you get the benefit tremendously to where the awkward part, I thought you were going to come back with different reasons why, but your reason why was actually an argument in favor of taking this job because you know that you'll have flexibility. You know that you'll have have freedom that was the benefit of mom working at the canvas company it was a family business right you take off whenever you want all you do is ask me if you had kids you get to stay on your kids you work at nine to five you're not going to see your kids for most of the day because generally i have itinerary of when we're going here and the amount of trips probably won't be that many but also it gives you experiences that you wouldn't have gotten in this job uh that you're currently at but the cool thing is is that you're like yo i'm gonna take a week go for it. I'm your brother. I understand that. Your boss is not going to let you take four weeks off. I will. The flexibility and freedom comes with this job. Ultimately, like, like currently, like, I don't post on social media. I, 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 mm -hmm. I barely, like, do anything on social media. Right. Like, if anything, like, I comment on Twitter, like, maybe one time a year. Like, Why? It's not, I just don't care. But you haven't really done it because you haven't really done it. Dad also, a lot of people were very anti- social media, Twitter, whatever, now are finally seeing, oh my God, there's so many people across the globe that love us, support us, brightens their life up because th you might not realize it, but people look up to you. This is like one of those things where your brother's like trying to get you to work with him and you don't want to, you don't want to do it with me. I'm paying, I'd be paying you handsomely. Uh, I have some other I think counter negotiations in, in to try and- example is more of a, that's more of a partnership. I don't want like an employer employee relationship. Why? Because I think it could... It's going to be cynical. Change your brain to start thinking of, like, how fun would it get to be to work with my brother? Because we're... I've worked for you for years. Right, and it's been good. Oh, not always. <laughs> The actual a few arguments that we had outside of it was mostly about scheduling because you were working your day job when we were shooting one of the biggest shows on the internet. I and so obviously you. I'm like, hello, wake up, Jeffrey. We got millions and billions of people watching this. Shit. Stop worrying about so much like that because I was pushing to do YouTube then and you could have made a killing. So I would get frustrated because I feel like I see the light and then you were deciding to stay with the track that you've been on, which is college and the structure, the very structured path when we had one of the biggest show so i'd get frustrated and be like hello i want our relationship to be better but i feel like like working me me working for you in that capacity i think will make it won't it won't be good if that i love you I, I, I want things to be good between us i don't want if you want them to be good then we make them good but you're self-sabotaging what I'm could going, be something really good i'm countering your offer i think i want to continue to volunteer in your videos like i know but you know you have zero time what I want from you is you to be around more. Your brother's trying to foster the good relationship and you're sabotaging and creating a reality of our relationship. You know, you have a lot of experience because we've been doing it for so long. We're well aware of each other's buttons or aggressive mm -hmm. tendencies, whatever. But even if you got pissed at me, which there was plenty of times that you did, I don't give a f because I've been in plenty of friendships, relationships where you do fight and all the best ones are the ones that give a f We need to be challenged because if we don't give challenge will never grow i think we're just gonna disagree here mm -hmm. i don't think we're gonna be changing any each other's minds on that what other new ideas can i really come up with that hasn't already been done by us a lot a million i've played that same game where it's like we've done it all now you barely even f 
scratch the surface of what can be done. Once again, it's a defeatist mindset. Have you taken too many L's to where you just don't see it anymore? Well, that's the other thing. Like the 2017, 2019, I had left my job for YouTube uh, both times. If I do this one more time, that's it. Uh, that's why it's a penultimate Jeffrey cycle. I can't do it. I've got too much time and money invested in my career right now to just torch it. At this point in time, I am fighting tooth and nail for Jeffrey Sayas. My brain is actually like short circuiting because I, I literally bet everything. I bet the whole house that he would say yes and that we could carry with this whole arc on the McJernis channel. Him saying no was like the ultimate monkey wrench because I'm like, wait, if Jeffrey doesn't say yes to be the camera person, who am I going to film with? I'm like, what the freak? Because I didn't, I didn't want Ashley to like be my camera person. She's my girlfriend and I just feel like like, I want somebody to train somebody and somebody to be really good and to be, like, my boy, you know? Ugh, it's just sad. It's just sad watching me desperately try. But you could just tell Jeffrey's not having it. I, I, I thought of every single possible strategy in the book, and he was just not having it. Uh, it just wasn't meant to be, but it, it's admirable to watch me <laughs> keep trying to sell him on it. Sorry. Well, I'm sorry because I feel like like you wanted this to happen really badly, and I... I'd imagine you'd have new environments, new people, no. new novelty. I don't care about new people. Oh, my God. You're miserable, dude. Listen to yourself. I don't care about... That's so I sad. About new people. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Who hurt you? Well, I'm still like if you're gonna film something. Yeah, yeah know, I understand man, I that can... nothing like fully changes on that aspect. But yeah. then it still doesn't help you in regards to the fact that you're locked into this job for the, your whole life. I have such gaps in my resumes because of those two times that I left. Right. I can't afford to. But just has it torch... stopped you from getting a job? Clearly not. Not not those two times. So there's always jobs out there. I also like the structure of like having a nine to five. I, I like going someplace every day. Mm -hmm. So what was the turn then when you went from 70-30? Well, Zaz, I, then... I, I'm not going to lie to you. You came over after I had many seltzers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe that was the... So I was like, yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Maybe that was the, the, the real Jeffrey there. Uh, That's been buried uh, and needs to come out because of alcohol. Yeah, alcoholic, uh, drunk Jeffrey doesn't make good decisions. I don't know. Maybe they're the best ones because they remove the uh, executive Jeffrey. They do, but it, it never pans out well. <laughs> so yeah i mean i can't fault the guy he's got really good benefits yeah it's definitely a lot more consistent and secure and the hours are you know what they are the crazy thing about all this is literally just the other day jeffrey got a promotion at his job so it was like the universe saying like you made the right call not joining your bro will jeffrey still fill in as a temporary camera person yes i'm sure he's down however like i was saying i do need a new camera person so let me know in the comments below i'm gonna read through if there's any prospective peeps but also just shoot me an email tweet whatever you got to do to get in touch with me send me a reel send me videos if you edit if you do thumbnails if you film, if you want to do it all, if you want to be in front of the camera. I'll be honest, I'm not looking for somebody to be in front of the camera as much. We have a plenty of people that like doing, like being in front. I want a technical person. I want somebody who knows their equipment, and knows cameras, knows the YouTube space, knows all this stuff, because I'm tired of people coming in and just wanting to, you know, either make their own channel or have their own content. Ideally, you want to grow Rigid Studios and the McGiants channel together as a team, and I'm looking for that player because I will reward you quite handsomely over time with the proven track record, and I will just, I'm looking for a new bestie. I'm looking for a new best friend, a new number two. Uh, but I want you guys to get excited. We do have four videos coming out after this one. Uh, we did some crazy real life stuff. And uh, speaking of Jeffrey, something big is about to go down with Jeffrey. I couldn't be more excited for this. You guys will see what I'm talking about in the next video. But hey, let's try and bring it back, guys. Let me see the love, support, the hype in the comments below. Uh, drop some likes on this video for me coming out and telling you guys the real behind the scenes scoop. And I hope you guys understand, like, I do enjoy making content and I don't mind vlogging and stuff but it's so much more fun when you have a camera person and you get to kind of see the the office style mockumentary humor with the pop zooms and the the camera work and it's just so much of a better viewing experience and it's more fun to have that dynamic so sometimes i'm not as motivated to film if i don't have that good person to bounce off of you know youtube to me was always just fun with my friends and i feel like where are they at <laughs> where are they at but trust me i'm gonna be a hard
we ain't just friends. But I want to <laughs> be able to have a good time, you know? I want to I wanna enjoy making content. And sometimes when it's just you by yourself, it's not as fun. I would like to have a posse. I'm super excited because we have somebody moving into the rigid house within the next week. So that'll be fun to bounce off of that person. But uh, we're looking to get some more. So will there be another competition for camera people? Will there be a competition for people to move into the rigid house? It's something I'm still considering. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. When it comes to living in the rigid house, rent is going for a $1,000 a month as you probably saw on my twitter we do got the uh the rigid pool under construction uh we've been fixing up a lot of stuff the finished basement here people sleeping on the rigid house we got nine bedrooms it's crazy three kitchens and five bathrooms three living rooms a movie theater gambling arcade area whole gym it's absolutely insane. So we're looking to fill this out with quality uh, creators, uh, you know, and you can be aspiring for people living in the rich house. You can be wanting to grow your own channel. That's totally fine. But I know I do need one or two ringers potentially in the house that work for Ridges Studios exclusively. We're definitely entering in to a new chapter, a new era of McJarrah Nights and Ridges Studios. I'm actually really excited. I feel like we finally have a really strong foundation. And yeah, feel free to like reach out to Jeff and be like, what the f bro? We wanted to see more of you. <laughs> YouTube. Now, uh, as much as I did want Jeffrey to work for me, I respect this decision. I was pissed that day, but you know, you can't, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. What's important is that he's happy and that we can still get him in videos and it frees up the opportunity for somebody else to grow and learn. Who's like passionate and into this stuff. All right, guys, I'm excited for these next videos. Love you, Jays and Dead. And don't forget to keep it rigid. I'll be keeping my eyes out for the next MJ and Cameraman. Peace. Well, guys, that was very interesting. Now, I reckon it's going to be corn that's going to be moving in, but we'll see. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more, watching more gameplay, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to keep it going. Love you guys, Steph. Peace, I'm out.